Money Money by Rosemary Wells. Published by Viking Penguin Putnam Group for Young Readers. Max's sister Ruby saved up a wallet full of money for Grandma's birthday present. We are going to buy Grandma a music box with skating ballerina, Max, said Ruby. Get your lucky quarter and let's go shopping. Ruby took one dollar from her wallet to pay for the bus fare. The bus stopped at Rosalinda's gift shop. In the window was a music box with skating ballerinas. Isn't it beautiful, Max? said Ruby. Thirsty, said Max. You may buy a very, very small lemonade, Max, said Ruby. Next door in Candy's corner window were hundreds of vampire teeth. Max knew Grandma would love a set of teeth with oozing cherry syrup inside for her birthday. Max bought them instead of the lemonade. Two dollars, please, said Candy. Max wanted to make sure the teeth worked. He put them in his mouth. The teeth worked perfectly. Ruby had to take Max to the laundromat. Soap cost a dollar, the washer cost a dollar, and the dryer cost another dollar. Money down the drain, Max, said Ruby. Hungry, said Max. It was lunchtime. Max finished off a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, two coconut cupcakes, and a banana shake. Lunch cost four dollars. Money is running through our fingers, Max, said Ruby. They walked all the way back to Rosalinda's gift shop without spending another penny. would like to buy the music box with skating ballerinas for Grandma's birthday, said Ruby to Rosalinda. The music box is a hundred dollars, said Rosalinda. A hundred dollars, said Ruby. The ice skates are made of real gold, Rosalinda explained. Ruby looked into her wallet. The only thing left was a five-dollar bill. Here's an idea. Bluebird earrings that play, Oh, what a beautiful morning, are on sale for four dollars. Gift wrap is free. We'll take them, said Ruby. Ruby gave Rosalinda the $5 bill for the bluebird earrings and went to pick out the wrapping paper. $4 for the earrings, $1 change. You take care of this dollar bill, young man. Max went back to Candy's corner, glowing the dark vampire teeth were half price. Most people like the glow and the dark vampire teeth much better than the oozing cherry coin, said Candy. Max bought the set of glowing vampire teeth 
for $1. said Ruby. You've spent our last dollar. How are we going to pay for the bus home? Max reached into his pocket. Out came his lucky quarter. Ruby used the quarter for the telephone. Grandma will have to pick us up, said Ruby. I hope she won't be angry. Grandma was not angry at all. She was so thrilled, she played the musical Bluebird Earrings and the Vampire Teeth all the way home. <laughs>